Welcome back to Kill Zone. Crow and I have a new guest today. Say hello, new guest. Shit. Hello, new guest. God damn it. Oh man. Those well, it's what I did the first time. Let's move. We have a new enemy type appearing just now. Grenadiers with grenades. Uh, C. Jacobs, uh, for your benefit, um, what okay. has happened is we are trying to get to Vasari Square. Or, sorry, we, we just left Vasari Square. We're trying to get to Vasari Palace. All the routes to Vasari Palace are over a river. And all the bridges, except for this one, have been blown up. Are we in 1940s Germany? Uh, we are in... Pretty much, yeah. 203040 Germany. In oh, space. Oh, I see. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah, we are storming the Reichstag right now. I, I can see that. Your grenade launcher that you're not firing is doing a lot of good. It... <laughs> I, I'll fire it. I'll fire it. Just play it. There you, yeah. Oh, yeah. wait. That's not... There you go. That's not how I thought that weapon would function, but that works. This yeah, so Oh go you ahead. Remember Crow? That, yeah, so you remember that bullshit stupid seawall level, the massive slog through like this boring bland shit? Welcome to Killzone 2's version of it. <laughs> no, you, I'm stopping you right there because this level is awesome. It's one of my favorite. <laughs> this this seems pretty cool so far. This this actually is cool. Before Crow totally kills my vibe, um, before he kills your, I'm zone. going to <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about how awesome oh. this level is. So this level is one of the best examples of how Killzone Two really creates the experience of you pushing forward, fighting up a united front against another united front. We are on this bridge, pushing against a wall of Hellgast. Um, some people complained about infinite spawning enemies in this game because they will respawn reinforcements right here at this uh, area to defend the bridge but it makes sense because we have reinforcements coming up from the back lines they have reinforcements coming up the back lines uh, if they want to stop us they need to kill sort of our lead characters we right. said Chenko. Um if we want to stop <laughs> them uh, <laughs> what you need to do is see this APC that I'm with right here yeah it doesn't move forward until my forces help clear the way for it. So you can sort of keep track of your progress, how far you've made it up the bridge, by how much land you've grabbed and taken away from the enemy. Um, killing the Grenadiers is really what we need to do to finish this level right here. And if you're able to kill all the Grenadiers, you can actually finish this section uh, within a minute. Um, wow. If you let them entrench themselves and call in reinforcements, and dig in, in five hours. then it's really going to drag out the fight. <laughs> yeah, because the flip side to that is there's a checkpoint probably every I don't know, 500 to 1,000 feet. So if you get killed right here, you're going all the way back to the start of the bridge and you've got to do all this shit all over again. Oh, Although God. if you're playing that poorly, I'm going to say that's your fault, not the game's <laughs> fault. Ooh, laying, laying yeah, down the because, gauntlet. <laughs> laying it down. Yeah, because yeah, we had to scrap the footage where he played that poorly and it took an hour to clear this fucking bridge. <laughs> no, I don't know what you're talking about. I would have loved to watch that for just an entire video. Just an entire, entire video of you dying over and over again. I had to scrap footage where I did beat it in a minute as well because it didn't really show off how the sort of fighting to take every inch of the bridge mechanic worked. Oh, that sucks. You, you gotta, you gotta struggle just the right amount to be cinematic. Oh, you got a dude dying over there, man. Help. Oh, it, it's just Garza. <laughs> we can let him die. No, it's Nako. We, we should have left him to die. Oh yeah, actually. No, man, sorry, Nako. Fuck Nako. that guy. That, that's, that's what I meant. I, I get, I get them confused sometimes. How could you confuse Tell them? They're so distinct and unique. Tell them to shut the fuck up. It's, it's their, it's their dumb, stupid names. All I can think of when I hear Natco is like Deus Ex. His first name is Sean. It's not. It's not very uh, spacey, right? Sean Natco. What do you got against ISA surnames, anyways? I wish it was Yoon. Yoon Natco. 
<laughs> he was a he's like a space Asian. <laughs> no, we're we're not playing Halo Reach. I'm sorry. Oh damn it! You, I mean, you do have a ragtag gang of misfits with with their own quirky personalities that hate each other. Mm. So it is kind so of. So if you're paying attention to, yeah, if if you're paying attention to this video and not our. I apologize, our terribly asinine conversation. You'll notice I've sort of hit a brick wall <laughs> with the bridge attack right now. Um, this is what I mean about the enemies getting entrenched. The APC hasn't moved forward in a little bit. I haven't managed to clear this gap. And so you need to find the Grenadiers, who presumably are the commanders for this current engagement. And I think I managed to kill them soon. Just rush it, man. Just run yeah, for because, it. Mm, yeah, the, those grenades <laughs> are really pretty deadly. He killed that guy by shooting him in the butt. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, that got them. Oh, you're so, fucked So, with now. all the grenadiers dead, without any leadership on this end of the bridge, they raised the toll. And it was already pretty expensive. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the, the the neat thing is like uh, like you notice how the guy that went down like a, about a minute ago like he went down and then he got right back up and, like it looked like he was dead. Yeah. The way you can tell ultimately that like a a hell gas goon in this game is like dead completely is that their uh, their helmet lights uh, like their eye holes they go out they go dark completely. Oh, that's they sad. fade away. Like, oh, oh, see Jacobs. Mm. Um, I'm gonna pose a challenge here. Um, something's gonna happen shortly okay. that shouldn't happen, uh, leading to my death. I want you to see if you can figure it out. What just happened there, see Jacobs? Did you get? Did the APC run over you? Yes, it did. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna guess random stroke. <laughs> well, that that's what happened right there. I was standing in front of it and it ran me. Over. <laughs> Friendly fire! Oh. <laughs> yeah, so the guy driving the APC, it's it's set to the mechanic, right? When you take the bridge, it'll it'll pull up all the way, so, you know. It, he, he's not right. looking where he's going, you know. No. <laughs> Casualties happen in the weirdest of ways sometimes. Exactly. Yeah, it, it was randomly taken over by Rico for a moment there. <laughs> what the fuck is a gear shift? Dum 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 dum. <laughs> oh, zing. Good one. So what's this, uh... I must say, I know very little about Killzone 2, which you might have noticed from me being in these videos as a running theme with me. I don't know anything about this series. <laughs> so is this... Are these guns you're using good? Because that assault this rifle gun seems is like great. it's taken a while. Yeah, come... Yeah, com compared to how the ISA assault rifle is in Killzone 1, it's like night and day. Also, the pistol I picked up is fantastic as well. The revolver that you start with, that the ISA are issued, standard issue, is okay. But the Hellgas pistol is miles above what it was in the first game, which was terrible and pretty much a joke. Uh, <laughs> It I fires see. quickly, it deals a solid amount of damage, and since sidearms have infinite ammo in this game, it's it's great to have as a backup weapon. It, it and I think I use it here. Yeah! And I'm going to use it wow. here, even though I don't need to, uh, just because I want to show it off. Sorry, I'm excited. <laughs> I, it's a fun gun. It's, it's a really fun <laughs> gun. No, I don't, I don't blame you. It's all about the excitement. Oh, yeah! Damn, explosion period. En environment kills. <laughs> I like that it has a speed loader. That's probably my favorite thing about it, is that it reloads with a speed loader. <laughs> the future is here, man. It's sci-fi tech for you. Yeah, they're, they're just on a rack and you just plop it in. Where do they come from? Where are you keeping them? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I know, right? I have a duffel bag of ammo. Yeah, there you go. No, it, it's like the weapons of Star Trek Elite Force 2. You literally beam them in out of nowhere. <laughs> no, actually, what That's it is, is you, 
You've got a guy. Yeah, that that's the thing. You, you've got a guy that's just yeah, in, behind in Elite you. Force Two. You literally transport in your weapons. Wow. Sorry, C. Jacobson talking over you. No, that's okay. No, C. Jacobs is right. There are several guys behind me who I'm picking up ammo off of. Well, I, I As imagine they die. you just got like. You've just got, like, a guy ducking and weaving around the bullets, like, here you go, here's your ammo, here you go, just speed load it in for you. <laughs> like, like that reload in Battlefield, Battlefield Hardline, where, like, a third hand comes out of nowhere. Right. Oh, oh hey, shit. check this out, they, Jacob. They, they do, like, b baton passing, essentially. <laughs> yeah. This is the anti-aircraft gun yeah. that the hard ass developed. Oh, yeah! Ah, uh, yes, the It never the overheats, old it never runs out of bullets. It seems to be doing them a lot of good right now. I bet they're glad they put it right in front of all of their defenses and able to rotate around to face them. <laughs> well, it worked great when I was on the other side of it and one of them was in it, but, uh, <laughs> you know, I took it from them. And you, you they're, did, yeah. by force. Ooh. Oh, wow, you turned that guy into fucking dust. Red dust. That's that's right. Wink, yeah. wink. Uh, yeah. Reference that C. Jacobs won't get. Up, no, I don't get it. Don't worry about it. Read the thread, asshole. <laughs> 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 oh man, so so when are you gonna start using white phosphorus and then the game starts calling you a bad person? Am I thinking um, of a different video game? That's coming. Two missions from now. Three missions from now. Uh, okay. Three missions from now. Okay. Yeah. Cool. You know that's that spots the line. <laughs> we get a another Stops. new weapon here. Not really a new new weapon. We saw it in the first game, but it actually works as a sniper rifle in Killzone 2. Wow. That's never happened before. Yeah. And there, there we go. We've dropped the bridge so the convoy can get through. The APC We're unfortunately can run over locked you in the booth here, but <laughs> yeah, Garz is going to let us in. That's true, the APC can still run you over at this juncture, so <laughs> I'm going to stand behind this tank. <laughs> Just to get behind it, yeah. I mean, that's fair game. You can use it for cover. Can they blow it up? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, there's a big space explosion in the background. <laughs> And Rico what, just said, what just exploded? <laughs> "Okay, so that's uh, there's a secondary plot. Um, the primary plot being, you know, capture space Hitler and the war. Uh, there's a secondary right, yeah. plot that deals that with part. magic space space metal. Um, oh, Ezo okay. element zero, basically. <laughs> they they call it petrocyte in this game. Yes. Is it a and petrocyte? Or... <laughs> well, it's a big." Eh? Bright blue electrical metal shoots lightning. They make lightning guns out of it. Uh, and judging by that explosion's color, you can bet it's going to be petrocyte related. But it's a plot point that we have to deal with later on. Ooh. Well, Rico said there was no time to analyze, so I guess we shouldn't be talking about it. We we have to no. do what Rico says. He's the true let's yeah. player here. He's also unfortunately yeah. our CO. So. Damn it. <laughs> I know. After all that crap, they promoted him. Well, Permission to here's talk a funny about thing. Plot points, sir. Yeah. Die. Here's here's a really funny thing. Um, from the first game, uh, Templar gets prom promoted to Colonel. Um, Haka is already a Colonel, but I presume he gets promoted to a desk job um, and gets to go <laughs> off the field, which is probably nice. Um, Luger gets promoted to, I, I don't know what the Shadow Marshal rankings are, because they're like the CIA or whatever, but she's basically head of field ops and overseas operations. Rico gets a little bit of a promotion, but he's still <laughs> being sent to the middle of the, quote, kill zones. So, I mean, it's, it's not like he's in a better position. Like, he goes from... Yeah, he, he goes from squad grunt to squad commander in the, the midst of a much larger army. Yeah, it's almost as if someone higher up still wants to see him die in battle. Yeah, they really want to get rid of him. <laughs> Man, you're just eating these explosions. Yes, we did just kill them, Garza. They They're reinforcing them. Were you here? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, the, it's the same model that shows up again and again and again. Do you think that was like a fourth wall, like, tongue-in-cheek thing, or do you think he was legitimately asking? <laughs> do they have probably, cloning? Probably a bit of both. A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. <laughs> That's why I like Garza. He's... He's got a good sense of humor. <laughs> he shot that guy in the arm to death. Well, at least we're done with dick shots now. At, at least it's not like Killzone 1 where the guy would die if you shot him in the gun. I remember that happening. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little bit of that that happens in this game in Killzone 3, but not as egregiously as it did in Killzone 1. The, uh, the AI does seem better from what I'm looking at here. Like, the enemies actually bother to take cover now instead of, like, walking around out in the open not even facing you. <laughs> <laughs> With like yeah, 15 big frames a second animations. <laughs> I mean, I, I really, really like this game a lot. I feel they uh, did a lot of good things here. It looks pretty good. Both graphically and the rest. Yeah. This is funny here. Right here, there's something has gone wrong. Um, see, uh -oh. Jacobs, <laughs> here's another challenge. See if you can spot what's gone wrong. Uh, the NPCs are in the way of the vehicles. <laughs> no, not quite. The NPCs are where they're supposed to be. Uh, APC got stuck on something. Oh no! <laughs> no, no, this is where the vehicles are supposed to go. Oh. Uh, scripting error? <laughs> yeah. We've the killed all the Hellgast. Um, when, when they all die, our tanks are supposed to <laughs> blow down the wall so we can go. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. We, we're kind of uh, stuck here. This doesn't happen very often. This oh is the God first time this has it. ever happened to me. So <laughs> that's what they so all say. Now you just go friendly fire yeah. on everyone. I swear this has never happened before. <laughs> <laughs> well, I at this guess point we I'm considering German. resetting the level. Home. Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 oh, but at this point, this guy appears. Oh. I guess he was hiding a lot, and he finally decided to come out. So there, there we go. That was yeah, it. Yeah, there you go. You, you, oh, fixed the, you fixed the hole in the timeline. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we almost had a Final Fantasy XIII 2 event on our hands. I love when Rico says words that are more than like three or four syllables, like continuing. Like, that's not really a word he would say. <laughs> he would just say going. <laughs> oh. Here we go, that's what I was waiting for. Oh! Fuck you, scripting error! Now, you might think we get a vehicle section now, but we actually don't. Oh. Oh. They almost crashed that! <laughs> awesome. Yeah, they. They don't show up till kill zone 3. Remember that big explosion? Must be from that explosion we saw earlier. Time to analyze it. Yeah. I wonder too. The eleventh dimension, Twilight Zone, from Night Springs. That's brutalist as fuck, man. That's what that building is. Right? It's so cool. <laughs> so we've spent most of this, up till this point in the game, we've gone through the sort of industrial shipyards, the slums of the city. This is the first really nice, legitimate building we've seen in the whole game. Um, this is Raddick Academy, where Colonel Raddick, <laughs> one of the most feared colonels in the game, trains his soldiers. He's got, he named his own academy after himself. What a dickhead. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I think Visari named the academy after him and then gave All it right, to fair, him. Alright, fair enough, I guess. Fair enough. This looks like a Doom level. I'm, yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of, I'm kind of wondering, like, what crappy-ass building did Vasari name after, like, Lente now? <laughs> Anime Academy. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, no, that's General Adams. Oh, Lent yeah. Lente's the one who gets shot in the dick oh, by Oh, yeah, he's uh, the Haka. pasta one. That's right, I remember that now. The one I said sounded like a pasta dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's mean. That was just an execution. <laughs> this run's gonna go bad, though. You can tell it's gonna go bad because I threw away one of my Whoa. grenades with the uh, poor miss time. Yeah, and oh, there God. we go. I've... And you just took a rocket to the face there. 
Well, actually, I dodged the rocket, but, but yeah, the yeah. splash damage from the wall behind me killed me. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, you you notice there, like when the the hell gas went down, you could still see like the ambient lighting yeah. from his like like eye lights on the ground, so you could tell he was still alive. Don't shoot till you see the lights of their eyes. Is that how the saying goes? Right. <laughs> Keep shooting until you don't see the lights in their eyes. Oh man, thread title right there, right? Am I right, guys? Minor, minor details. The, uh, like, if you notice, like, well, it's probably not going to close again, but on the uh, door there, like the lining on the door, uh -huh. the rings make the Hellgast uh, tripartite uh, logo. Wow. This game's all about I, the small details. Like that little lamp I, that was, mm. uh, that gas lamp next to me at the door, um, you'll notice I ran away from it a moment ago because when uh, the explosion went off, it revealed that they're actually powered by giant red propane tanks. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> like yeah, like they become state. They actually become stage hazards uh, when they're uh, like the masonry when their facade cracks off them. You can shoot them and blow up enemies, or get blown up yourself if uh, another enemy shoots at it. That's pretty good, man. The level, the level destruction. Like, see, look, look at that right there. Cool. Mm. And there's an example of blowing up the propane tanks. The architect who designed this building was an asshole. An asshole with style. That's Please. right, an asshole with style. That's right. And that's what's more important than the personality of the building. Yeah. Ah. In all fairness, he, he probably had to he probably had to design it through one of those hell gas gas masks anyway, that's so true. you know. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, they they don't have a wide enough field of view. Nobody's gonna be looking over here. Actually, as we get later into the series, there are a wide variety of sort of like civilian and high end like customized breathing apparatuses that are very uh, unobtrusive. Uh -huh. I'd say it's oh, time to go oh yeah, here's got, like, some the... sweet architecture. Oh, some sculptures. The sorry space. That's like, terrifying. Weird war quotes around the place. Good lord. Oh, here's a funny moment. A, a team building moment. Jesus. Just help things along. All it takes is a little Natko, you yeah. fucking shithead. Another door. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was anticlimactic. I like how Rico's all like, you idiots. And there's a bunch books of books are. in that little room. Uh, yeah. You can blow them up if you want, but uh, you can't read the titles on them, unfortunately. It's it's because Rico doesn't know how to read. He like if you try to read it, he just won't let you. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Uh, load oh, times. Yeah, that, that's another thing. Yeah, loading times. I'm on. This oh, is I thought, a. <laughs> I thought my video. This froze. is an ancient backwards compatible 60 gig PS3. I'm running this on, so it doesn't load as fast as a Slimline would. Jesus. But we made it. Look, dead trees. Who decorates I their like office the, with yeah, dead trees? I was gonna say, oh, it's. It's the one tree on Helgen, or, and its cousin. I like the plush chairs that he has in the middle of the room. For, for when if he has company. If you want peace, prepare for war. <laughs> All the plaques say, if you want peace, prepare for war. In the entire academy. There's like 20 or 30 of them you can see. That's their motto. It's like E Pluribus Unum, but with like Helgas. Exactly. <laughs> Can't wait to meet the Dean. <laughs> So now, uh, Flying Robot School's Death Incarnate closed. is here. Oh my god. Mm. Yeah, we're, we're not meeting the Dean, but we just met the Disciplinary Committee. <laughs> Damn, dude! <laughs> oh no, an ATAC! It'll freshen up your breath! <laughs> god damn it. With Mentos fresh and full of life. So here's a uh, here's our second boss fight of the game, and unfortunately we have to take this one on our own. Oh, great, well you're doing a good job so far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get getting shot up. It's actually not too oh. terrible. There's all these petrocyte cannons off to the side. 
uh, shoot the glowing blue part to <laughs> oh, come on. yeah do this, and then you can just you know at your leisure fire rockets. You don't need to kill it with rockets; you can kill it with your guns, but it just takes longer. Uh, killing this boss in under a minute and a half will net you the Dragon Slayer trophy. Fun fact. Man, dragons have changed since the Middle Ages. <laughs> they look a lot different now. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just waiting for Daenerys Targaryen to show up. Where are my Atax? <laughs> not, not enough characters have died yet for that to happen. Like, everybody has to <laughs> die before there's a Game of Thrones crossover. Damn, wow. Nice one. Mm. Take it out. That thing exploded into quite the physics parts. Yeah. Well, wait till we, wait till we get to the third game. And we don't have petrocyte canisters around when these things show up. Oh man! Look out! Don't let it we run did you it. over. We did it though, guys. Like we we have made it all the way to Vasari's palace. Sweet. Right. We're only we're halfway through the game. Right. You just killed him. No, we're <laughs> still alive, but we're halfway through the game. We're at the palace. Like we're doing good. Oh. Okay. Nothing is gonna go wrong. Um. Yeah, about that. Dude, what the fuck is that? I mean, we overheard Radic talking about defense systems over the radio, but I haven't seen anything, so whatever, right? Like, yeah, we're fine. I'm sure it's nothing. Yeah, no, it, it's spinning. Dude, I know what it's gonna do. I already know just from what it looks like what it's going to do, and I'm so fucking pumped about it. Like, none of these guys have names. Like, like, yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh! Just oh yeah! Lightning. Yeah! It's, get fucked! Oh, it, it's, oh my god! Destruction yeah, it's and just, carnage! Oh, it actually almost ran We are in full-on Emperor Palpatine mode right now. <laughs> Unlimited power. The enemy convoy has been decimated. The weapon... Performed adequately. A way to undersell yeah. it, Mail. <laughs> I think that was more than adequate. <laughs> but a live commander is more valuable to me than a dead hero. As you wish. Foreshadowing. Damn. Alpha one to command. It's all going to shit, Colonel. I died twice along the way. So it's okay. It. <laughs> oh my God, Templar! Hey. They're powered by the same compound as the Arc Towers. We've tracked the electrical signature of the pipelines you discovered to the wastelands. I know yet. Satellite this game takes place with, I think, like, what, four months after Killzone 1, and Templar's kind of put on a couple of pounds, isn't he? A little bit. <laughs> has he changed? Has he, has he legally changed his name to Jan yet? Is he, is, are people calling him Jan now? They call him Jan in this game, yeah. Damn it. <laughs> How the mighty have fallen. I love the reprise of the main heroic theme there. Pretty good. Killzone 2. 